feel a way. <laughs> we would never feel a way, gang. Here? We would never what feel a way. What are we doing here? <laughs> what are you talking about? What possibly in your motherfucking practice talking about? <laughs> when you step on the stage, you gotta shine bright. period in general in the world throughout the years we gotta just talk about it you feel because it's been going down it's been going down okay so we first what's one of what you just how you feel i'm good you good yeah the love of the tissue waters <laughs> it's your boy d nice man mm -hmm. stage park this is the stage podcast it's mm -hmm. our second episode seven episodes, seven, uh, ep what seven episodes <laughs> 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 I said it, second, uh, second, uh, second episode. Second episode. You yeah, funny yeah. as hell, G. Second episode. So, yeah, so today, we're going to talk about a few different topics or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to start off today with, uh, what tonight I'm talking about today? We're going to start off tonight with, uh, with group hopping. You feel mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. So, uh, group hopping has been like a, um, a thing for, for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, a thing that people can't get away from. And it's a different type of group hopping, you know what I'm saying? Cause like back in the day, it was totally different than group hopping now. You know what I'm saying? Now, group hopping is a little bit different now because a lot of this stuff now is more kid-based. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so it's more youth. It's way more youth. Everybody is youth because you grew up to what? 24, 27 years. So you grew up to 24. So everybody is youth, but that's not what I mean. I mean like actual kids. Like So kids can't come register themselves. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a, a seven-year-old or eight-year-old or even up to 18 or 17, you know what I'm saying? They can't come register they self, you know what I'm saying? Like, they parent gotta come register them, you know what I'm saying? So, that, I don't really go into that, it's, it's really group hopping. You what know does what it saying? have to do with group hopping? Because I'm saying like, when a kid, if a kid come, if a parent wanna bring in the kid from this team to that team is what I'm saying. Right. That out, you can't really call that's that. Well, that's still group hopping. No, it's definitely group hopping. Parents be group hopping as hell too. Facts, parents, parents be worse than kids. Because they be, parents be mad at the leader and shit and they want to come bring their kids somewhere else. Like, mm -hmm. nah, that's still considered as group hopping depending on the situation, like depending on why. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to switch their kids. Right, right. Me, I feel like group hopping is, I feel like group hopping is a person that come, you know, they, and they come to a team because they come with their friends. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. And then when shit don't go their way or what have you, if they friend leave, Sometimes when they friend leave, they stay, but majority yeah. of the time, if they friend leave, they leave it too. That's like 30% of the time. Yeah, they go on the to time. the next team. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Facts. But a lot of teams, and, and it's not all teams, because mm -hmm. some teams don't even allow that shit. Yeah, facts. You know, like, especially if they know, you know what I'm saying, like the kid just came from, like, you was just empire. Like, what, what was your, what's your point of leaving? You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's good to have on your, on your paperwork when kids come into your team, your registration form. Asking where you on a previous team that you come from another dance team. That's why it's always good to ask that on y'all programs and y'all on y'all uh, uh, registration forms, you guys. So, nah, no shade. Mm -hmm. Right now, like the generation now, a couple of years back or whatever, I think we got a little better with that because we communicate with each other, follow as Facts. CEOs. Some CEOs we communicate. But back in the day, we didn't give a goddamn. No, like, we didn't. Somebody. You left the team, come on over here. Come on over here. Now we on their ass because they was talking shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was like, we used to allow that. Like, we used to allow that. Yeah, you used to go down that day for sure. You know. You know we I mean. used to allow that back then. <laughs> for sure. But the main thing that I'm talking about as far as with group hopping is like, mm -hmm. you know, situations as if you cool with a team over here, you, and then a team, you lose a member to a team, or a team lose a member to you. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's extremely important to actually have that conversation with that leader so y'all could be on point because if y'all got a relationship, it's really nothing that that member could actually say, you know what I'm saying, to get y'all like into it. And people don't even be saying that a lot of times, if you want to go to another team, speak up. We got these people numbers on speed dial. You feel mm -hmm. like these are people we know these people 15, 20 years. You feel like we all at some point dance together. You know what I'm saying? So. We can get you over that team quicker than you can get on that team if you ain't up. <laughs> and and my, well, my question for tonight, you know what I'm saying, as far as with group hopping is, you know, with some team, with some, you know, CEOs and presidents or what have you, like, do you guys allow, you know what I'm saying, like other members to come to y'all team? And if y'all do, like, do y'all reach out? 
You know what I'm saying? To like the CEOs, like, you know, if you have a member that just came from somewhere else, even on your registration form, do your registration form act? And it's like, do it make you feel away? You know, when you see like another member dancing, you know, like with somebody else, or do you wish them well? You know exactly. what I'm saying? Because me personally, Side door. me personally, I'm gonna wish a motherfucker well, you know, exactly. I, to be honest, because it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So, what's up? What's up? So, so to, to, just to wrap it up with group hopping or whatever, like, uh, me personally, I'm a. I'm not what you would consider a group hopper, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I never cared for the group hopping situation or whatever. How many teams you been? I was only on two teams, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, but, okay, well, I was on Final Phase, and I was on Third Dimension, and then, of course, the Empire or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, within that time, I danced on, like, excuse me, Versatile. We did that together. That wasn't, But we didn't ever leave our, our company. Exactly, but that's not group hopping. That's what I'm saying. So, I only been on two teams. I was only lawyers for two teams, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hopped and did some shows with somebody here and there whatever, but I never got into that, you feel me? So, I'm real big on, as far as dancing wise, with whatever team you with, loyalty when it comes to that, for sure, like, being loyal, you did so. Yeah, you got to wrap up for the group hopping situation? Yeah. Because, you know, I, I, I've been loyal to, to my teams. Right. I think I, I, think I quit. I, I was with House, I was with Omega Five House first before I even um, uh, was on House Arrest, but it's, you guys will say it's still House Arrest because mm -hmm. my leaders that was uh, running House Arrest at the time mm -hmm. was with Omega Five House. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up merging over to House Arrest 2, but shit, after House Arrest 2, when I left House Arrest 2, mm -hmm. you know, for a quick second, I became yeah. vice president of CMD. Exactly. And that was only for like a month or so mm -hmm. before we decided to start our own unit, which was 3D and been 3D since 2001. So it's like, this will be 23 years, January 10th for us. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, anytime I danced anywhere else, as far as like final base, but but Billy and parade, I had actually dropped my unit. Exactly. And I ended up bringing my name with me to do the parade. So no, I, I never, yeah. I never grew top. Like I always was loyal and dedicated to like 100. who I was with. Like three D tattooed on my back. You know what I'm saying? So I got more tattoos of Empire than you do. I got, a, I got three D all right here. I got an Empire all right here. You ain't, you ain't like that. That's on you. <laughs> so you was crazy. Yeah. So yeah, so we uh so yeah, so the group of situation man, you feel me? It's like we and, just wanted and, to touch bases on that a little bit because people wanted to, you know what I'm saying, hear a little bit about group hopping, but that's basically our insight about group hopping. And leaders, also too, and leaders, y'all can't y'all can't be, you know what I'm saying, trying to get mad at these uh get mad at people, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they want to go to another team or something like that, you know what I'm saying? If somebody want to move on, if they didn't do it messy, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they didn't do it drama field, you feel me? Like, just wash your hands to the situation, you feel me? Like, it's not, you can't keep nobody, and don't nothing last forever, you feel me? I yeah, but time ago. I agree with that too. I, I agree with that, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you can't get mad if somebody want to leave, they want to leave, leave. But the leaders, they get the, get the kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't, like, don't start no mess. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Don't start no mess because you think you just got the team that they came from. You just got you know some saying? amazing dancers. You know what I'm saying? You probably got some amazing dancers, or you probably got some non amazing dancers. But at the exactly. end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to start no mess with the team that these dancers came from because you still ain't got the formula. You ain't got the formula. You just got the goddamn bodies. <laughs> you just got the bodies. You, you know what I'm saying? Form. Like, so don't start no shit. You ain't got the ingredients. You, you ain't know? got the mix, the souffle. Because yeah. that's what a lot of people <laughs> do. Like, a lot of you CEOs be behind the scenes talking that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then get on the floor and y'all be losing like a motherfucker looking like shit. Uh -huh. and, then and, I ain't, and listen, and let me say this. I ain't talking. <laughs> I'm not talking like for something that, you know what I'm saying, like I've been through lately now. I'm talking about something that in life that I've been through. But I'm also seeing a few teams that's going through it right now. And it's like if you get members from another team, gang, you know what I'm saying? Be humble about that. Because just because you got one member, you talking all that shit and your ass gonna lose 10. Now you ain't got no squad. Here we left. Clock it. Snuck in here. Clock it. With because that's how, that's how God works. You know. And y'all wanna know what those Cause it, I guess it's kind of what about because we got we got to wrap this topic up or whatever yeah you know what I'm saying we got time frames on each topic what about people that's on teams right like a parent or something or a person that's on a team and then they don't want to be on that team no more whatever and now they leave and take some of the people members and start a whole nother team start their own team start their own team what about those people because that didn't happen too when I told you. <laughs> that has happened to I told you they did steal all their fundraisers steal all their ideas. <laughs> You know that happened. Yeah, I know. You know, that happened. You know, so, like, if I was 
So yeah. how about so how do you what what about those type of people? Because oh, what I feel about those type of people. Let me ask you the first. I'm gonna tell you what I feel about. You know, I be forget, but go ahead. <laughs> Okay, you know what? To be perfectly honest, uh-huh. it's all about how I'm feeling at that time. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's all about how I'm feeling at that right, time. If I right. want to be civil, <laughs> if I want to be civil, I'm be like, "Good luck to y'all." You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But if I'm if I'm a little, you know, on the other side, the Gemini other side, right, right. and like you just tried me, you uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't know, I'm gonna have to get like real life, like <laughs> busy with your ass because first of all, if you somebody. take some members, if you take some members from my team mm. and start your own team, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because this happened to us before. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All the time. This happened to you us before. Way, you, you had experienced that a few times. Yes, I was about a good 15 some years ago. This happened to us before. You know what I'm saying? From the greats. And I love them down right now. I love them down. They for attract sure. me. For sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> they attract me. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. But if you take some members from my team, in order for me to respect you, it's like, damn, listen, if you want to you know what I'm saying? Like start your own team. I can respect that because at the end of the day, this is something that you want to do. But trying to take members from my team while we all at practice and shit, we having a good old time. Turn around, y'all having secret society practices and shit. Exactly. Y'all all at the carnival and shit. I'm calling right, everybody. Ain't nobody answering. That's a factual shit. story. She's speaking, y'all. That's a factual story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then turn around, y'all got a squad on my bitch ass. Right, right, right. It be going down. But how about this though? Now you see how you see it. Smoke them too. Exactly. How about that? And that's what I was gonna say to you. Now that's good karma. That's good karma. I was gonna talk about. You know, so you said you was like you could, you would be mad if it depends on what, what mode you it, were, it you do, you feel. It didn't do because it's about how they did it. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. So whatever mode you feel, whatever. But then you got also this this side of it. You got that karma that's gonna be about a lot of times because a lot of times majority of those teams, those teams been started from negativity. You feel me? Like so by being started from negativity, it never prosper. They never succeed. It'd be a bunch of Rudy Poo BS going on. They always got some drama going on. They never win. They always break it up, start back. It'd be a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? Like so the karma really just attack them. You ain't even have to worry about it. And then your good karma is we kicking their ass. Everywhere. You feel me? That's second going topic, on. second topic. We talking about judges. Oh man, this be ridiculous. We are talking about judges. I let you say it. Can I talk about this real quick? Okay. First of all, <laughs> if you ain't never put together anything as far as anything, you know what I'm saying, to, to win at a high level, if you don't got the trophies, if you don't got the accolades, the resume to back it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't judge my unit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be the problem a lot of times. You feel on these panels that don't fit no criteria about nothing. You feel me? Like, and I'll be confused. Like, we're not telling nobody how to who to have on their panel or how to. You know what I'm saying? Present they show or whatever, who they want or who they feel. Because I know people be putting people on their panel, you know what I'm saying? Like, that they close to, they they peer, <laughs> they come up with. You know what I'm saying? Like, but. Oh, yeah, about and shit. Listen, <laughs> but, listen, but that absolutely not, right? Tis? But that's why we don't do what? That's why we don't compete no more in Chicago. First of all, we don't compete no more in Chicago. That's, just we, one, of we, that's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons. But as far as the judge, y'all yeah, have to make. The judge and stuff makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, then y'all don't be wanting certain people on the panel that fit the criteria. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even be knowing who these people are that supposed to be on the panel. Y'all be having something to say about them. But these people that ain't supposed to be on the panel, y'all be all happy. People that are supposed to clearly get threes and fours out of ten, y'all giving them eights and nines. You know, I saw, like, what I, is going on here? I swear to God, he is one of the hardest judges, but he ain't the only one. Shit, I'm sitting next to a lot of people and they be judging hard, baby. Y'all be, damn! But, a, a two for real shit. We got something to say about this. We something. Else. But yeah, so also too, y'all be having posse on the um uh, on the panel. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all be having full blown posse on the panel. Like folk them just folk them just roll with with gang them to the show. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> they live together. You feel me? Like and y'all got them on the panel. Blah they move the band. Blah they move the band. Probably mess around with the coach on this. That you feel me? Like yeah, it'd be a, I'm just saying. This is what be going yeah, on, Dad. This is the facts. Know, you feel me? Like, y'all be having that funny yummy business going on <laughs> on these panels. <laughs> and then y'all be mad when we be ready to flip the table. Because listen, <laughs> we're judges too. We already going to fry our own kids when they get off the floor if we seen that they physically messed up. But we already know we lost before the places even come out. So when we know we won and y'all come talking about a third or a second, y'all got us fucked up. That's just us. And not just us. That's people in general. Because it don't just happen to us. It happens to the best of us. Because a lot of this stuff be political. You know what I'm saying? We know a lot of times you got to do, people want you to do a certain like certain amount of shows. They don't want you to compete in their show a certain amount of time before they let you scratch the surface or get that get, get that wedding pedigree on you. You feel me? Like, who, 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 what judges is we talking about? 
Well, who wanna put it on? We're talking on? about like Chicago judges. We're talking about all over the world. We're talking about all over the world. Because we didn't we didn't experience it in Chicago, we didn't experience it down south. We, we experienced, experienced it. We experienced oh. different stuff down south. We really don't know like on the East Coast, the West Coast. Yeah. Mm. What you think about it? What you got to say about judges? Because I said a lot. To me, everybody be having it the hardest because I just don't understand why people don't like us. We ain't do a goddamn thing to you. Like half of y'all came from us. But, we ain't point consistently. but my thing is, y'all came from us and we never had no bad blood. Like, y'all learned all this shit through us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm confused on what the problem is. Mm. You know? And even the ones that didn't come from us. You know, it's just like. Y'all think y'all copy? No, the fuck we don't. It's about to be 23 years. Bitch, we didn't bust our ass all this time to get to where we had. I'm confused. That's why we can't say. It's all confidence. So we supposed to have. But that's my it. thing. Like I'm so I'm I'm, I'm just confused though. Why we can't say like we one of the best in the city because we is. Exactly. People really told us. The motherfucker really told us y'all can't win all the time. They let a single beat us, gang. It was a competition at the parties. That was like a thousand dollar show. Yeah. And they let a singer beat us. That was Walla. And told us. That was Walla. Y'all can't win every time. <laughs> Well, why did you invite us to come do your show me and it was going, you know what I'm saying, like play with us like that? What happened to me while I was in that woman's door? So, wait. Well, <laughs> real quick, y'all. So, we why my show? The man told us that. I swear to God, we ended up leaving because D was getting into it while I, I said, we, let's just go. You know what I'm saying? But my ass, I'm always losing everything. You know, my nickname is Miss Losing. She had lost Don Fong and shit. Time or some shit. I lost Don Fong. For the third time, yeah. Why did all that D go back in there to try to get the fuck out? It took that man every bit of 15 to 20 minutes to come outside. I walked back into the port and the <laughs> man is squabbling on the floor with Wala. They on the floor squabbling so hard, like, yeah, you know how to if you got if you got a cat, if you got a cat, you know damn well how fast your cat is. What's up, Wala? That's my boy. Shout out to Wala, man. That's how fast that Wala had us fucked up. That's just a quick little story. He had us messed up. But anyway. That's funny you say it. Judges, I swear to Jesus Christ. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't never won some of these categories, like, why do y'all even host them? Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what you're looking for. On the game. You don't know what you're looking for. What about the people that's throwing the show, too? They don't know about it either. They don't. You they, said, they you don't said the the, but they don't want to speak the judges. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, what am I talking about? They don't want to speak the judges. Talk that shit, bitch. On the game. What I'm, I'm just up? saying, like, mm -hmm. like, host something that you know something about. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because when we go traveling and shit and bust our ass, and we gonna get into this in the last topic because we got two more topics after this. But when we travel and bust our ass, I thought we was jamming and shit when they was smoking our ass. Oh, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get into that. But it's that like, like what I'm saying is, there's certain things that you gotta know how to do when you end a, a, a field show when you do the kick line. Everybody kicking around. Shout out to my boy. Come do that shit. Come do that shit at the real shit. You gonna lose one, know why? Because everybody's supposed to kick off with the same leg. Exactly. Y'all kicking around. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> Y'all winning. Y'all winning. <laughs> People don't understand this type of stuff. Y'all putting y'all kids. Y'all putting y'all kids on the flow with holes and y'all stockings. Uh huh. Runs and shit. Runs. If you ain't got a backup pair of stockings. You don't dance. But you winning because the judges is like. Well, what about people that don't even got on no stockings at all? What are y'all loving with these babies up there negative? Okay, but wait a minute. This is what I'm talking about with the judge. Mm -hmm. Y'all overlook like so much shit. You know what I'm saying? You look at it like, okay, they had this, they had this um energy, they had this and that, like that. What? I exactly. just, what are you judging on? You know? Exactly. I just feel like as far as competitions, if you ain't even been in this world, like the world didn't change, major world didn't change. I mean, you know, Chicago dance industry, uh, Chicago dance industry didn't change. Yes, we major red, but we still hip hop. But major red have definitely took over. If you ain't been around this motherfucker for nine years, why is you on the pound game? Exactly. You don't know what the fuck, fuck you, you looking, looking at. at. You don't know what you, you looking at. Right here, cause you got something you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just crazy because y'all putting people on a panel. <coughs> Just because this is the reason why years ago, like what, like seven, eight, how many years before when we first started, this is the reason why we started flying people out. This is the reason why we did that. Because if we yeah. gonna step into their world, you know what I'm saying, we gonna fly the best out. Facts. So the best to show us and tell us and teach us. Facts. So we can know when we, you know what I'm saying, what to look for when we judge when it comes to major rank. Facts. 
Right. So, as far as judging wise, me personally, I just feel like if you ain't got no background, you don't need to sit down. Exactly. Ooh, if you don't got no background, you don't, you don't need to, to sit, sit down. down. Yeah, the y'all here catch it. You know what I'm saying? And if I look and see, and then y'all don't even want to tell nobody who the judge is, it's like that exclusive. Man. Fine. You see the judge, that's like, why you know like, like the exclusive bar. That's why we ain't doing your show. Cause you got folks, you got your homie on the power. They don't know shit. Get the unteaser shit on the power. So, mm. we can move off the next one. It is what it is. I think we touched on the judge. We're going on to the, the next topic. So we're going to talk about Chicago, Major Red World versus the South. Period. Now, <laughs> this have always been, this have always been, uh, uh, interesting topic like everybody already always talk about you know what I'm saying I'm like us versus them and things of that nature so it was really kind of funny you know what I'm saying like the other day when that guy came like nobody know who he was but he definitely woke it up like you know oh, I was, like my yeah like Chicago just need to stick stick to juking and footwork like sir but then I don't want to check out his team I want to check out his team I don't want to check out his team and you know it was different people on there you know uh, Polar Bell was on there, you know, Polar Bell be on all statuses. Shout out to Polar Bell. Polar Bell was on there, whatever. And then I saw like Tyrus on there, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I think I saw Jamal on there for a second. So I saw like prominent, you know what I'm saying, man, mm -hmm. the people that like, you know what I'm saying, that step in the major world, people that we respect or whatever, highly, got highly, highly respect for or whatever. So I, I, I entertained it, you feel me? And then he had said Chicago, you know what I'm saying? We are Chicago, we the Mecca, you feel me? Like, so it's like, okay, and we the ones that jumped out on the porch first and went down there, us and the geeks. You feel me? Like, we was the first ones to go and do that and jump in that, jump in that field with them Wolverines, them real hyenas. You feel me? Like, the child don't even know or understand. You feel me? Like, we went down there, they tow I some up. little poodle cups, some little poodle dogs. Everybody, you feel me? Like, they tow I up. To smithereens. You feel me? Like, shout out to Dan Sandow. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Diana. You know what I'm saying? Like, in real life, you feel me? Like, so. The difference to me between uh, Chicago and you know, down south is, to be honest, yeah, Chicago got their own style. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We used to dancing off, you know, like tracks and stuff because like I love Billiken Parade, you know, like to us, those are marches, but we convert those into stands, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, if we didn't, you know, go and train or have people come here, you know what I'm saying? Our, our mind, like we would still be stuck in that same, you know, like same form of, exactly. Our stands will look like marches. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And a lot of teams in Chicago stands is marches. Yeah. Exactly. They stands is marches. You know, and I think like, you know, Chicago would be way better, you know what I'm saying, as a city. You know, if people wouldn't have a problem with like asking for help or you know what I'm saying? Because it's like right. people right. don't want to ask for help, so they just copy. Right. People just watch. Exactly. <laughs> When you think that when you think that you making something up, just see this is me. I let my kids program. Mm -hmm. But when they bring that shit to me, when it's time for me to watch it, I'm the one that's like, nah, absolutely not. Y'all just did that already. That look like that. Nah, that look like that. No, nope. switch it. Reverse it or something. Judges. You know what Judges. I'm saying? Like Judges. do it so I tell them to do it differently. Because I absolutely don't want nobody like I absolutely don't want nobody like, yeah, they stuff that. They did this little rule. And exactly. when people say like that people stole something over here, it's more like the combination of things. Exactly. It's more like how the counts come back to back. You didn't make that up. Exactly. You see that later. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like with Chicago, I think that that's just kind of like our only downfall. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? As far as like with each other, because if you know that a team are already like a team is extremely good at something, and and no shade, it's teams, it's CEOs that hit me up and inbox me all the time. And I have some of my dogs go train. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or they kids are coming there train things of that nature. And they smoking shit. It's nothing wrong with asking for help. You know? So I just think that's Chicago only downfall. Is there's so much uh, hate over here. The major red teams from the South, the, to me, the difference between them and us, they did some shit that we, they did some stuff that we be like, oh, hell no, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this song? You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, like they, they, it's because they're used to it. Like they slow, our slow is they slow, but their medium is not our medium, exactly. and they fast is not our fast. Exactly. 
Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But when we actually see them doing this shit, we be like, no, what the fuck? We ain't thinking that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can do that. that. Exactly. But that's because our mindset, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're we're totally different. Mm -hmm. The South is used to doing a lot of different shit that that we're not used to doing, but it's not like we can't do it. Exactly. So it's like we was kind of like behind learning a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's only because, you know, listen, Chicago is a force to be reckoned with. Like, Chicago is a whole monster within itself. Exactly. So it's like, it was nothing for us. We a sponge. It was Mm -hmm. nothing for us to pick that, you know what I'm saying, style up, recreate it. Yep. And then overkill it because we got our own style yep. that down south don't have. Yep. Exactly. They don't have our style. Exactly. And they can't do our style. They, they, they hip hop is not our hip hop. No way there. You know what I'm saying? But they major rap, they, they feel show. Yeah. It's like y'all think they thinking about doing all this shit, all these different on and off transitioning. Get up, stop all that, all that shit come mm-hmm. from down south. Right. Chicago, we can be so much more better, so much more broader. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If, if everybody just basically like, you know, take accountability, take accountability. For sure. And my thing is, it's like if you already know, you know, certain teams that did this before you, you see ter- certain teams are slamming mm-hmm. this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's nothing wrong with asking for a little bit of advice or a little bit of help. And even if you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine as well. Cause you don't have to do that. You can still always, you know, like study or, or, or hire whoever you want to hire or figure it out on your own. But the thing with Chicago is, Chicago pop up in this game and in this industry or what have you. And um, Chicago down the people that actually opened the door to it and paved the way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, why y'all down in us? You know what I'm saying? Or why y'all down in them or them? Because it's literally like three of us to open the door for the industry. And that's no lie. You know as what I'm saying? As far as the major rap. And my oh, my thing is, you know, it's like we're not the ones to be like tooting our horns like, you know, like, yeah, we the shit and we, you know, we don't fuck. We not that. We not them people. Damn sports not them people either and Geek Squad not them people either. One of our teams is them people. I feel like, you know, we all are honestly like close friends, like all leaders. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like me and Maddie is, is, is best buds. No shade. Ruby is my old brother. You know what I'm saying? And like, we do this shit. No matter if our teams be into it or not. Because our teams be getting into it. And there's no shade. They get into it. You know? But our vision, you know what I'm saying? And what we didn't grow up on, though, what have you, we gonna stick to that. So it's like, okay, if we going out of town and we know we going to compete, we going to compete at a bucket down wherever we going, all right, Ruby, what you going? All right, I'm, I'm doing juniors. All right, we doing seniors. Exactly. We're not going to compete against each other again. We're going so we can go, all go win and represent Chicago with the same team. Sometimes we end up competing against each other. You know what I'm saying? But it'd be Sometimes, all yeah. But from the very beginning and for the long, the longest, that's mm-hmm. how we was coming. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we already knew that we was trying to step into something that was totally different. And we got into it together. Yeah. But I just feel like, and you know what? I um oh, meeting new people from like out of town different uh president CEOs, they always say the same thing, like, mm-hmm. our city be shady, our city don't mm-hmm. mess with us like that, this and that. So, you know, no no shade. They city probably going through well, yeah, the same thing sure. that our city is going through. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But to me, you know, it's like, we can't be better than nobody but ourselves. So in Chicago, it's like, I'm not trying to bump heads, but Chicago likes to bump heads. Like, exactly. you cannot compete against the best when you sit up there doing some bullshit. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, and it don't even be like, a lot of times necessarily it do be some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, but then you got people who really are, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to put on, you know what I'm saying? Trying to come well, out. I rock out with those like, people. And people that, that, that show the respect. I rock out with like, those because, people too. No. You know, at the end of the day, it's a lot of people that, you know, I don't want to say like that, but a lot of people came from here or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it just be like, damn, just at least show that respect, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I'll be wanting to show love, you feel me? Like, people feel like, for some reason, that motherfuckers don't be wanting to show love. No, that, that, that's going to the last. That's the though, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I'll definitely be wanting to show people love, you feel me? But, but let me ask you as this far as Chicago. Let me ask you what. What do you think is different? Like, why are we different, the uh, Chicago versus the South? What to you? Because you never, you never well, gave your point. You know, you never gave your opinion about. Well, what makes us different is okay. Like as far as the Chicago, 
we already had our own individuality and our own type of style anyways or whatever coming down there having to learn and, and figure out they type of style, you know what I'm saying, which was a totally different thing, you know what I'm saying, like a, a totally different animal type shit, you feel me, so what else going down there, and us being how we are, our style is an energetic, you know what I'm saying, like, it could be like some type of like hip hop, like type of, I call it, what I call our particular style, I've been throwing this around our company lately, I ain't never put it out to the world, but I'm about to right now, whatever, I call it like, uh, um, a, a ghetto tech, ghetto tech majorette, you know what I'm saying, like, I call it like a ghetto tech majorette, you know what I'm saying, so, and I feel like that is what I want to call, what, what I call our style, you feel me, and it's on a whole different aspect as far as how I feel, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, I don't know, it's a lot of people down south that's cold, you feel me, like, and when we know when we're going against them, we already know that we got to come with that fire, you feel me, because they're going to kill it, you feel me, but there's a lot of people that's down south that don't even really be hitting on nothing and it'd be crazy you feel like that's what we was about to talk about too we was also talking about uh, what they say y'all got something to say yeah what they say they they was on the post saying um they turned into juke or rat or like basically we be very tough and we just become an original and how they come like exactly. why would y'all come exactly yeah, how y'all yeah, come, come? Like, exactly. why so like y'all come out and we'll say what y'all doing what y'all doing what y'all doing Exactly, and then like it's, okay, okay, so touch bases on the comment because yeah. I want to I want to speak on the field show because I can touch bases on that too. Okay, like a ahead. field show aspect. Like we had started like coming with our field shows a little bit a little totally different. You know what I'm saying? Like we had started incorporating the boys. You feel me? Like but we have boys that do major rap, and we have boys that also did only right. like footwork and hip hop styles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Boys that stuff another type of preference. You feel me? Like so it's like when we came with that, even though we just killed it, we did all this major rap. You feel me? We went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Did our thing, pointed toes, studied the game the right way, but then still added our own flavor to it. Then they want to shit on us. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you know you just killed it, you really just lost to somebody that just danced off of one song the whole time and did some whole, just some BS. You know what I'm saying? Like, you like, wait, what? We didn't even play? You know what I'm saying? We came in third? Like, it just be like crazy or whatever. But it, it ain't no sore loser shit. You feel me? Like, but it just be weird shit that be on the panel that you get to hearing us stuff. Because we don't know these people. But let, me, but, but let me just think back out there. Right. A lot of those shows that we was at, we didn't know. But sometimes we can't say that it's weird because at the end of the day, this is what they're, this is what they do, this is what they used to. Maybe exactly. they're not, maybe they're not used to change, and maybe what we do is just it should not be incorporated in the film show. Right. Exactly. That's what. That's why we stopped too. Though. You know what, what I'm saying? Like so, so like, like even mm. though like we tried to add something different and thought that it was something different. You're right about that. Like now in Chicago, it's something different because at the end of the day, Chicago is used to the Jew, mm -hmm. but Chicago is not really, Chicago is not used to how they do their field shows, how exactly. field shows actually go. People are still learning how to do a field show. Yeah. Field shows is not even still tackled down the right way right no, now, no. like at all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's people. like when we come with how field shows are supposed to go, mm -hmm. Because we didn't learn this shit and studied it and got trained, but we also add our boys, we get our boys incorporated in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Of course we're gonna win because Chicago is is looking for that. Yeah. Chicago really not gun hold on the majorette, like all that shit that they got going on. So we have to we have to adapt to mm -hmm. what everybody is doing on every side of town because it's like we can't come there with what we're doing. We can right. to see if they like it because that's just what we're doing and how we feel. Exactly. But at the end of the day, juking is not a part of they major rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we cannot get mad about that. Mm -hmm. If I show us on us, I show raw as hell to us. We right. win and everywhere else, mm -hmm. but come to this city where they really doing this shit at. Uh huh. You're right. And we coming out full yeah, this shit. They like absolutely but not. Yeah, we, we didn't do that a lot of times. No, I know that. Come I'm come just, I'm just such a base. Like, I'm just saying. Facts. And like, then too, what I am to try to like always group us, and he's just trying to just be keep us just hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, for a long time because we had just over-dominated that world because they were so used to seeing people do hip-hop, and that's another thing too with that, like y'all be doing hip-hop and y'all be doing major in hip-hop, soon as that happened, like you should just instantly uh, give it, like lose hella points in, 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 in the category of hip-hop because now I'm judging Hip a, hip a jet, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this? The hip hop majorette, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you like, doing? Like, but guess what? So, that's just like that. That's just like what you said. We go down south, mm -hmm. or wherever we go
When you come here and you're doing hip hop, you better not do a goddamn dev drop. You better not do none of that major of hip hop because exactly. we are a hip hop based city. Period. And we don't want to see it. Exactly. So, and they don't want to see it. They don't want to see so it. So it's easy. If you come in and enter in hip hop in Chicago, mm -hmm. you better look up the teams who solid, do, solidly do hip hop. Exactly. Because that's how you better come or better. Exactly. So if we're going to their city and, and we're going against these teams, we better teams come like that, that or better. It seems to have done that. Like exactly. Like Geek Squad, um, them, um, Lil Jam, I mean, uh, the Geek Jam or whatever. It was teams that came up to us personally or whatever. Like, yeah, we knew y'all was going to be on the panel. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we made sure that we did this. Ooh, they did. I remember that. So, yeah, that's shout out to them. I they did. Yeah, they did. So. Yeah. And but, yeah, then, I, I actually wasn't finished up because I was when oh, I'm done oh, touching bases oh, on. Yeah. As far as, like, yeah, just not leaving us, trying to just base us as only hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we understood, like, that we was already cold and that. You feel me? Like, because we had dominated that for so many years. Once we had went down there doing the bucket dies and. You know what I'm saying? And all those different shows that we was doing down there. So it was like, at that point now, we doing our thing now. We coming up. You feel me? We coming up as far as with the major right now because we know that we've been moving. We've been getting our ass kicked on. So now we coming up. Like, allow us to knock that door down now. Like, don't just always be talking about, yeah, here, Bobby. Yeah. You see us walking around. Like, you see we got these custom made measure uniforms now. Like, you see these toes pointing. Like, you see we, we got these formations going how they're supposed to go. You see we got these groups coming in and off how they supposed to be sitting down all on point like different things that you're supposed to know though you know so for sure but just like moving on <laughs> i ain't even read that but it's moving on you feel me like <laughs> that's just the uh the facts so yeah go ahead so the end the, the chicago versus the south right 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 end it off the yeah. difference between the mm -hmm. Shy versus the South is this. Chicago got their yeah, own style, that. period, point blank. Right. Yes, we are Jew. Yes, we are hip hop. Yes, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we want to try to incorporate that within what we learned. I feel like Chicago was its own beast. Mm -hmm. But Chicago is scared of itself. Exactly. Chicago really don't understand the power that they have. Mm -hmm. And that's not everybody. That's only somebody. That's only a few of people. That's not everybody. Facts. You right about that. I don't know what the South do because I'm not from the South. Right, right. I don't know if they go through the same shit that we go through. All I know is what we actually learning and seeing for these last years. And what we seeing is they ask me smoking shit. It be a lot of them and they cold. We learned a lot of shit from them and no, we did not make this up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It'll be different. You know, if, they, if the South popped up and they coming into our shows, they smoking hip hop. They come to our shows and they do 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 Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, like, right. it'd be a difference, but it's not It's not happening like that. What's happening is major ed. Mm -hmm. And we're coming into their world. Mm -hmm. So, no, I'm not going down there. I'm trying to get like them or better. I've been doing that for years. That's why we, who we are right now. Facts. That's why the Empire name is, is spread right now. Mm -hmm. I will never down the south. Why would I do that? No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? When it was 20 acts and we was number 17. When it was 15 acts and we was number 15. You can't just pop out the blue talking about, you know what I'm saying, like, basically, they not shit because we the shit. Absolutely not. And this was only piggybacking off the dude post earlier because he was talking about some Chicago need to just stick to juke and foot or whatever he was talking about. And he can just get the fuck on the body up. <laughs> Because my thing was, even though he edited his post, even crazy. though he edited his post to say, okay, well, just Empire, no, you still left out a few. You're not just going to say just us. Because we put on for the city, and we've been working our ass off to do that. When yeah, people from us, everywhere he else, us uh, he shot us out, but he should have shot out a few more. A few more that means you don't know nothing about Chicago. Facts. You're right. That means you don't know nothing about Chicago. I didn't know who he was, though. I had to go find out who he was. I didn't know who that guy was. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, so we can end this segment and go to our last segment. My thing is this. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we worked our ass out to become in, in the position that we is right now. Right. As far as in Chicago. But to be known, like, all over is a big thing. Mm -hmm. For our names to be ringing from people that we were sitting and watching on TV and would never even ever think that we would even meet them mm -hmm. is a major thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think that we better than the South. I think we can definitely get up with the South. Because we didn't get up with them. We didn't get up with them. Already. We didn't be some of the best of them. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they cold. 
Yeah. Just how we in training and we getting better, they getting better. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like they was already at they at they, but that's what make that's what make me like not listen. Our focus is another focus. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna sit here and water down my team to do certain shit. You know what I'm saying? When I feel like we got these other competitions that's coming up, I like a challenge. We about to go do this and that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so at the end of the day, I feel like all the teams in Chicago, even the ones that's just coming up right now, I feel like I swear to God, I'm like the hunger, the hunger that you guys have. You know what I'm saying? I love it. But the hate and the animosity that you guys have, I fucking hate it. You know what I'm saying? Like the the delusional that you guys, some of y'all have, is insane. Like I don't know what y'all be doing in y'all practices in y'all studios and shit. Like y'all just be doing. It's crazy. Like. Only only thing y'all should be thinking about is being better than y'all self. Why yeah. why worry about everybody else? Making subliminal posts and shit. That's gonna be on our next motherfucking uh, podcast because I'm confused. Y'all be talking that shit, nobody give a fuck about y'all. You got like 2,000 trophies, gang. You got like 100. <laughs> nah, because why y'all like stop making subliminal posts? Yeah. That's what goes on in the shy. I don't know what goes on in the south. All I'm saying is. Shot versus South. We ain't got no animosity, but I know, like, if it, we have to battle Shot versus down. South, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna go down. You know what I'm saying? Sure, because sure. Chicago is not for none. And I love Chicago, and I love a lot of the teams in Chicago because y'all so dedicated to it. You know what I'm saying? I got some names from the South Pole here, some killers. But okay, some, you got some names. Some of my but you got some names for the South for some killers, but you got some names for Chicago for some killers? Yeah, of course. All right, well, let me see the names for the South. You got some names for the South. You so funny. Look at you. Some, of course, you got to dance some dolls. You know what I'm saying? She had obviously her names over dolls. You did not put that lady in this because that <laughs> lady is uh, a maker. For sure. She do a thing. She, yeah, she She's the maker. She can make her hair shit. Let's go. Black, Black Ice. Black Ice for sure. Black Ice. Dining. Black Ice for sure. You feel me? Uh, these people that was tail around and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like F A D D. You feel me? F A D D. Uh, Prayers and Tiger Reds. Yeah. You feel me? Like you got like the Wardens. Uh, the Warden. Mario. Like, I love him. Three D M. You feel me? Like so. Them, them like the people. That's crazy because they, they had our name or whatever. They had took our name and shit. You feel me? Like but shout out to three of you feel me? We is not that. gonna say they took our name because you know what? I don't even know if y'all knew us or not, but. Well, we, they did have our name. We did inbox them about it, but mm -hmm. they probably great minds in the life. But they, they, they definition of 3D is not our definition. No, hell no, not at all. I was about to mention that's like three different. Yeah, they don't. That's my boy. They don't. They definitely don't. I love the So yeah, them some of the people that are. And the and we didn't get in them, get in them trenches with you know what I'm saying? Like so. For sure. I said the French Tigerettes. Uh -huh, see. Okay. I said FADD, I said Brent oh. Tigerettes, I said The Wardens, and then I said 3D. Yeah. Oh, dang. Why not? You feel me? Like, those, the monsters, you feel me? Like, uh, you feel me? That, that was really killing shit. Well, when we first started, though, I said. And some of y'all ain't even seen some of these teams. Oh, you've been doing this. We're going to get to the FADD, Wardens, 3D, Brent Tigerettes. And that's major what I'm talking about, y'all. You know, honestly, to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, hell, yeah, like, the demons are kind of feel like. Oh yeah, for sure. But uh, no, so I love the so 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 like, so 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 I, so I love her. That's a different story. And then Shakita as well. Like me, I'm from the show as well. But we got these dogs right here. They with that hip hop shit too. We talking about down south. They not down south. They're my cousins. They right down the street. What are you? The fuck is you talking about? We going to Yeah. Last topic of the night. Who the best? <laughs> who the best? Who the best? Or who think they the best? And we about to talk about it. Yeah, it's people we just throwing shit around. Open it up, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, y'all know like within like Chicago, y'all gotta go off of because I can go all the way back. We ain't gonna go all the way back right now with that. We're gonna talk about within the last past like seven to ten years, you feel me? Like yeah. who yeah. who really like many Terrorizing and shit, you know what I'm saying? Who really been putting on, who really been in these shows, who really got the trophies to prove it, who really been all over the world, who the people really know, you know what I'm saying? Like so it'd be like it'd be a lot of it'd be a lot of work that be need to be put in before a lot of this stuff be thrown around. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to everybody though, you know what I'm saying? Like it's 
it's all love. Anybody can come on here and have every bubble talk that you have, how they feel, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But as far as people like, of course, you know what I'm saying? You got yours truly, you know what I'm saying? The Empire. But you know what I'm saying, man, on top of that, you always, like, y'all can't, y'all can't forget about people just because y'all probably ain't seen them in the last couple months. Because that literally would have been, like, a few months, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas like Geek Squad, you feel me? Like, Geek Squad been going crazy consecutively, consistently for years, you know what I'm saying? Like, putting on, setting trends around this motherfucker, you feel me? Like, y'all gotta know what's going on. Oh, Of course, you feel me? Like... You gotta talk about you gotta talk about dance sports. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No it's matter what, like no matter what else going on, you feel like you gotta talk about dance sports. They want they gotta just talk about as far as like what been going on. Well, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, go ahead. And we don't talk about Chicago right now. We talking about the judges. I can name some more people. We talking about just Chicago. Well, we talking about Chicago right now. Who the best? Because at the end of the day, yeah. we can't we can't really speak on. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like everybody else. We talking about our city. Exactly. That's, so that's, because all, that's the names I get. We talking about our city because our city is the people that they so what? Listen, our city got so much subliminal. We really get like that at this last out last twenty minutes of this last. Type shit. You feel? Period. Because you know what? At first, I was actually. Let me just say this. Mm-hmm. At first, I was a little skeptical about doing a podcast. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people really can't, like, I don't understand. Like, people say they love me, they be around me all the time, mm -hmm. but they really, like, can't take, you know what I'm saying? Like, what I say. But you can take what I say, but you, by half of George, you can't take what I say. If you understand what I'm saying. No, I hear you. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, I hear you, man. I wasn't in the mood earlier. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in the mood. You're in the mood now. Huh? I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood. And finna, <laughs> I'm in the mood. And we're gonna get like that. And my thing is, you know, we invite everybody in this very open, get on this podcast. And this podcast is gonna blow up because we're not gonna let it up. We're not gonna let up off it. We're gonna continue to do it. We are gonna talk our shit after every competition, after every event. If you get into it, we're talking about it on the podcast. If we get into it, we're talking about it on the podcast. We're gonna talk our shit because we've been doing it for years, just not on the podcast. Exactly. exactly. Nobody really been knowing what's going on in the Chicago dance industry. Everybody just like talk exactly. behind closed doors. Exactly. All the time. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of you CEOs be scary as hell. I seen a post today that somebody posted today and it was up for three hours and she called somebody out mm -hmm. and the motherfucker didn't reply. So you can never fuck with me. Bow. Bow down to the queen bitches. Bow. Just like that. Just go just like that. Because mm -hmm. if that person that called you out and you ain't, even and you ain't say a damn thing back. and it been up for three hours, <laughs> you absolutely <laughs> better back up off me <laughs> and that. Right, right. But let's get back to this. Mm -hmm. We talking about who the best in the city of Chicago. Now, you gotta stop throwing that word around best. Like that's, now, that's, a, that's a big word. Because that's yeah, a, it's, it's four letters, but it's big. Go ahead, go ahead. Because that's the thing, because we don't never be like, we the best in the city, like, we rolling, and we cold and that. We never do that. Like, we never, ever say that. I swear to Jesus Christ. Well, I just start saying that. I don't want you to put it on Jesus Christ, but I just start saying that a little bit or whatever here and there. Whatever. Just stop playing with us. We're going here. You been saying that? I be saying that here and there. Like, but y'all can't fuck with us. <laughs> I'll say that type of shit. Just like, stop playing. Like, in real life. But okay, I okay, damn. I, my my bad, my guy. But you don't say it, so you because good. I don't because you, you you good because I always say like we one of the best because at the end of the day I know it's a top three. Yes. And we've been no, I definitely, top three. I definitely, I definitely, I definitely thought they one of the best around for the longest. And we've been top three. Sandwich. But my thing is this 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 what I gotta say. How could you claim something because you won a few shows in your city? One sh few shows somewhere else, but you ain't beat them big dogs. Man, it's people that you ain't My thing is, is you have to beat the motherfucking big dogs, dogs. gang. <laughs> if you don't beat them big, big dogs, dogs, killer, you, what does it matter? It matters not. Like, we got, it's so many trophies that you can get to win first place. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel accomplished? Mm -hmm. Now, I get it, you know what I'm saying, doing certain shows, you know what I'm saying, like, all right, you know, we want, no, no, no. You got to get in the competitions with the real people because if you don't, if you don't get in a competition with the real dogs mm -hmm. in place, mm -hmm. 
You mm -hmm. cannot ever say that you can better. You should feel like, like as a leader, mm -hmm. like as a leader, I'm not gonna take you to uh Kawashana, uh, uh Chakanuka, whatever. A city that nobody got a show at, and you didn't go in first place, and we ain't never seen the flyer, seen and I'm confused. So now you, you the best. That be happening a lot of times. And that's what's going on. But when you got the motherfucking Diana competition going on, or the motherfucking Warders, or the motherfucking Rumble in the Jungle, or the motherfucking Friends the Tiger Rats, you got them real dog competitions going on. But instead of you entering into that, you go enter into motherfucking um. Now you don't want first place and you keep winning first place. Now you're the best. Exactly. And now you write subliminal posts like, it ain't our fault. We, you know, we the best and y'all feel away. We would never feel away. <laughs> we would never feel away, gang. We, we would never what feel away. What are we doing here? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you possibly in your motherfucking practice talking about? <laughs> Cause we absolutely don't talk about shit. No, no. We the motherfucking ones that taught you jazz plays, uh, jazz blaze fist. We the ones that taught you Prissy the man. one of the two count no. or the one of the two beat or the three and the four. You gotta dance off the back beat or on the top beat, gang. We the no, ones no, taught no. you all the. Who are you talking to? Ask somebody. <laughs> Do a little act. Do a little act. Do a little act. How are you the best? Right. You gotta speak on it this way. We work our ass off for our name to be known. <laughs> and to be the best? January 10th. Heard. January 10th, 2024. January 10th, 2024 will be 23 years for me. I didn't work my ass off. I absolutely get sick and tired of a lot of people with their nonsense. That's wrong. He calling. What? Book more calling. He calling on one of y'all. Let's see the phone. That bull's calling. See one of y'all phone. I be sick and tired of the bullshit. Honestly, I'm glad we're doing this podcast. I'm gonna speak my shit. And if anybody feel the way, you need to just get on the podcast so you can say how you feel. Because we ain't going to get it to it and we ain't going to argue. And please don't make no post to mine. Because if you make a post to mine, you're going to be my topic next week. Um, you're going to be my topic next week. Because we ain't got to sit here and backpedal about shit. Because we not stressed or, or, or about, no, we not in competition with anybody. You know what I'm saying? We get props and props is due. But we can't even get props to you motherfuckers. Because y'all always talking subliminal bullshit. That ain't nobody thinking about. That ain't nobody thinking about. <laughs> How the fuck y'all the best and we the best and, it, and whatever. Let me see. What is that? We the best or something and it ain't our fault or whatever. It's going to take you so many motherfucking years yes, to catch is. up to what the fuck we get, gang. I don't know what the fuck you and that teaching your motherfucking kids, baby. But it's going to take you so motherfucking but, long to catch up to what the fuck we get. You got to cheat. The thing, the thing, the thing, the thing is the stuff be saying to the leaders, though, like, the stuff that's being said right now, it be said directly to the leaders, you feel me? Like, but the leaders are the ones running around spewing this nonsense into, into their kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, spewing. So that, be, y'all, <laughs> spew, do y'all say that word spewing? Spewing, because real talk, like, that's, you be spewing doing Y'all know what that means, y'all. Yeah, talking that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, people be spewing that bullshit into the world, you feel me? Like, so it's like, when, when it starts from the head and it trickle down, what else we gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, that be the problem. This you feel me? This is what we're going to do. Uh, the podcast. For sure. Come this is what we're going to do. Stop because my thing is, don't get on Facebook with that bullshit. Because now we're looking at you like, what the fuck you talking about? Because we don't give a goddamn. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Listen, yeah. all my years all my years of me running Third Dimension, Third Dimension was my first team. I started Third Dimension January 10th, 2001. Right. 3D. 3D was my first team. That's a lifetime ago, y'all. Like and then Dynasty right was my second unit. And then I started my junior unit oh. after Dynasty. Oh. Okay? I started Empire in 2009. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Where the fuck was y'all at when I was doing all this greatness? So why are we even bothered or pressed about y'all? Hold on, hold on. Like, just respect the real, you know what I'm saying? And it's bogus because a lot of y'all come from us and y'all been respecting the real. Y'all been respecting the real. And I was the one to open the door to a lot of y'all to help y'all even get to the position that you was at right now. So stop playing with us with these subliminal stats. I definitely want to shout out Legacy 2.0, you know what I'm saying? They definitely been doing their thing, you feel me? Shout out to Lil Mama, she been doing her thing, you know what I'm saying? Like so. I want to let them know, you feel me, they be in them shows with them dogs, you feel me, they don't be ducking no smoke, and they be fucking winning, they be placing, you feel me, like, so, placing or winning, that's what it's all about, you feel me, so, stay in them trenches, gang, shout out to y'all. Okay, we got, we got a little call, we got a call from Moves, and we gonna let him talk before we continue. I, I, I had a few questions, actually, okay, so, who, who, who's doing all these subliminal stats, like, who's doing all these subliminal posts, because he probably see how, or I'm going to 2020, so, I'm going to see, so, like, who's talking shit? It's Big Chubb, everybody you gotta have the stats. Real stats. I'm not talking about first place. That's what I'm saying. Real stats. Real shows. Like, better than real treasures. You feel me? Like, people ain't did these shows. People ain't did these March Madnesses, these Halloween shows, these Bucket Dives. You know what I'm saying? Like, these War Zones, these motherfucking, uh, the list go on. It's a lot of shows. Like, I can't even really think of it. It's a lot of shit. Yeah, everything. Yeah, it's one little, it's one little spectrum. Facts, facts, facts. No, you right about that, because we done been all over, and we put, this, we put that time in, and you know, we did that shit together, shit, like, so yeah, you right. I said, it's the shit we talk about all the time. Damn. You definitely gonna, you definitely gonna, uh, you know you coming on. You definitely gotta come on here. You gonna talk that shit when you get on here. Can you hear me now? Uh, Tari, it's touched base, so a few things, but I was just watching that, like, after we got a few of my stuff. I don't know, so y'all need to calm names that we ain't doing that. All right. All right. All right. Post was put up subliminally, so we was telling this movie. Y'all fuckers knew what was going on. You feel me? Like, but y'all know we ain't nobody done this shit. First of all, y'all, Chum was supposed to have been on here. Chum was supposed to have been on this episode. Let's talk about that. Chum was supposed to have been on here. You feel me? Like, so. He was already on here. He was gonna get brought up while he was on here. You feel me? Like so, he if he on here, he know we motherfucking talking about his ass. We talking about chum ass. <laughs> we talking about we talking about motherfucking non sale. Motherfucking y'all know what going on. My fuck, my fucking boy. His ass be on that funny biz and stuff. Who? Mm -hmm. He say Brandon on here, so it's all probably right now. Brandon is always in the mix. Powder donuts. Hey, but the thing is, it's so fucking funny because it's like. It's really sad, like, we show this much love because we really love these people, but I'm confused on, like, where the drama come from. So I just want to know, chum, right. chum, like, chum. <laughs> and listen, y'all, do y'all, do y'all? Wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait to get moving. Go ahead, moving. Let me say this. I be want, but I be want chum, I be want this, because I found this crazy to me. A lot of chum kids don't even know that chum is <laughs> No, wait, 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 wait. This the real, y'all. Listen, how the hell, how the hell, a lot of chum kids don't even know this man used to dance. Go pull chum ass up, y'all. Go pull up third dimension, all old third dimension chum shows. Chum ass on that floor, fucking it up at a high level. He got the right to talk the shit that he be talking, but yo don't team, talk no shit to us. don't talk no shit to us. You come from here, you know what I'm saying? I guess I, I understand it's good. I don't want to, he's he not going to make this about chum, the chum to be on here. We're not making this about Chubb. Well, no, they asked about who we're talking about. Right, about so that's why, so that's so why that's I just wanted to just speak on that. Saying. But we're not going to make a, a segment so about it. We're going to move on. This ain't very catchy. Yeah, I just wanted to just speak on it because you were asked to show. No, no, no ducking shit. Okay, but can I? Okay, but can I ask you this? 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 Bro, you ain't funny as fuck. You, you hanging up with me right there? We love you, fools. We gonna no, call you, fools. We about to end this. Y'all hear that? What's up? Well, let me, let me, let me, let me just say this. Even though we said all that shit, because uh, it is what it is, we gonna tell regardless. But my thing is this: no shame. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no shame. Like I am really fucking proud. You know what I'm saying? Like of AFE. No, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like I really like. And you want to, really you want to cheer them on. 
I really be wanna like be that one. Like I Still. love them. I, I feel like, and I'm talking about love them as a unit, like as far as like how they came and how they came up. You know what I'm saying? Because Goon Squad was already the members. You know what I'm saying? Like Goon Squad, it came a long way for them, but Goon Squad paved the motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? They paved the motherfucking way. Here, clocking. AFE was struggling a little bit. But the fact that AFP is doing that thing right now, mm -hmm. that's what I want to be able to cheer on. Exactly. We don't want to that's what I want to be able to support. And I give congratulations and praise to a certain team like Next Level. When I give congratulations and praise to a certain team like Nisa, because mm -hmm. that baby been doing her thing with her team, and I know where she started from. Right. When I give a congratulations and praise to Deontes, because Deontes is going to bust his ass do what the fuck he got to do to make sure his team is on point. Yeah, My thing see. is, he do. The and you know what I'm saying? He call me all the time. I be sleepy fucking FaceTime. What? what? Deontes is on But I, <laughs> I talk to him. But AFB, you know what I'm saying, Chump, had this team and they've been doing this for a long time. Right. So it's like, yeah, I want to be able to give the parades and the congratulations to stop fucking playing with us. Like, who you be talking about? Like, when you gotta come on this podcast to let us know. Who you talking about when you be doing your Supreme Post game? Because I don't be thinking like nobody be giving a damn. I think you be making that shit up, to be honest. I'm just gonna say that right now. Because ain't no way. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, who be saying any of this to you? You know what I'm saying? For you to make these posts and shit. Exactly. And, and the only reason why sometimes I feel away is because you was with me for so many motherfucking years, like over five. Like over five years. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like at the end of the day, we respect and we respect each other like we supposed to be locked in. So it's like, let us respect you and let us let us support you. Right. Don't let these kids get in the midst of anything. You know what I'm saying? Because right now it's about y'all. Oh, my mama. Like, right now it's y'all time. Like, it's y'all time. Like, it's y'all time to shine. Yeah. But I really hate, and I ain't saying y'all, I'm just saying in general. Hey, we don't want to do certain shows. We done did this shit 10 years straight. The fuck, we done waited 10 years for y'all to get good. Now you, we ain't competing in this show. We special guests. Now y'all talking about they ain't doing the show because they scared. Oh, dude. We done won 10 years straight. I'm confused. It took you 10 years, gang, to become something. <laughs> I, everybody in Chicago, back the fuck up off us. Everybody that's throwing the show, please leave us alone. We've been throwing the show for 23 years. We've been throwing competitions. Support is support. We do not have to compete in y'all show. And we want to come and do special guests. You make the more money y'all fat than anything. A lot of y'all don't know how to do mathematics, and a lot of y'all not smart in here. Y'all want people to, to to compete in your show? We not fuck. Why are we competing in your show? Why we can't come and be special guests? Sell all these goddamn tickets. That means I can put everybody on the floor that's in my company. You would have made way more money than you would have made if I would have competed. That's still showing support. It's called support. Support don't have no motherfucker. Support me, you gotta compete. Absolutely not. <laughs> We've been competing in Chicago for so long. We have to end our topic on who the best. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I feel like in order to be the best, you have to learn from the best, you have to follow the best, you have to be under the best. In order for you to be a great leader, you have to be an excellent follower. And that's what we was. We was an excellent follower to these PT, to these teams and these people that we did not know that was not from Chicago. But Chicago, you're not excellent followers at all. That's why a lot of y'all are not excellent leaders. You all want to compete against us. Just when you get a good 20 or 30 people on your team, you feel like you cut up. Y'all want to make statuses like, ain't nobody make this up, ain't nobody make that. Uh, yeah. How? When y'all doing our combinations, you ain't make that up. We was the first team to go to sleep on the bitch and turn our back on the bitch. That was us. That was Dynasty when we went against their sports. So I'm confused on how the fuck y'all going to sleep and doing all this shit. I com same combinations. <laughs> Why is y'all talking to social media? What are they gonna do for you? They ain't gonna do. They not gonna do nothing but wake up the dragon. And I'm gonna have a sharper season. I'm gonna make you look dumb. We didn't know that turning our back on people was disrespect until we start doing competitions in the real world with that. 
We just ghetto because we Chicago, so we ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we turn our back on the bitch. <laughs> Where we grew up, we do what we do. We, we didn't know, like, if you turn our back on the bitch, we was ghetto. We was, you know what I'm saying? We didn't even got DQ for that shit. They ain't like that shit. When we first did that shit, they ain't like that shit. Please don't take the high road just because y'all on right now. Leave us the fuck alone. I'm gonna tell you right now. For sure, man. Leave us alone. Yeah, Leave us alone right. and take and, and, and cherish what God is giving you right now. He's giving you that time to be great. Yeah. Cherish it. And do not put nothing else on nobody else because and because it's like you practicing to be better, you know what I'm saying, because of somebody else hate when it's no hate. It really is a wrap on and everything. And we will be back in tune and we are gonna be back on this podcast next week. For sure. And we're gonna have new topics and it's going down. That's a wrap, y'all. So stage part two, episode two, man. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Chicago, shout out to the city, shout out to the world. You feel me? Um, you already know. You already know the vibes. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure y'all come get y'all son. Y'all subscribe to the channel. Watch all the stage episodes. Y'all get to watch all of us. Follow us as our vlogs, our mm -hmm. shows, everything that we do. Y'all get to see us intimately, our real world, and actually get the true experience of Vampire Dance Club. Right.